Live from the Miami Beach Auditorium in Greater Miami, the 1969 Miss Universe Beauty Pageant, starring the most beautiful girls from Europe and the Middle East. From the island, from Latin America, from the Far East, from North America, and from every corner of the universe. On a wonderful night like tonight, I've been dreaming to hear from my own native land. I'm on a cloud and the feeling is grand. On a wonderful night like tonight, in a wonderful place like this, even though I've been waiting and hoping for years, I can't believe that. Miss Universe Beauty Pageant with your television hostess, June Lockhart. Special guest star, Hal Fraser. And your master of ceremonies, the host of Super Consequences, Mr. Bob Barker. It is brought to you by the bright detergent new Enzyme Bowl, and by new secret anti-perspirant spray, and by Head & Shoulders, the shampoo for everyone. And now, the master of ceremonies of the Miss Universe pageant, Mr. Bob Bucker. Good evening, and welcome to the 18th annual Miss Universe beauty pageant. The girls we're about to present to you have been chosen as the most beautiful representatives of their home country. We have 61 of them from all over the world. And tonight, in Miami Beach, our judges are going to select the one most beautiful girl in the universe. In just a moment, the universe parade of beauty, all the way from Argentina to Yugoslavia. But right now, may I present the young lady who last year was selected as the most beautiful girl in Brazil and went on to be chosen as the most beautiful girl on Earth, the reigning Miss Universe, Martha Vasconcelos. <laughs> Voting for the 15 semifinalists has been taking place during the past week. And the names of those lucky 15 are now in a sealed envelope in the hands of our accountant. Now, only these 15 semifinalists will compete in the evening gowns and the swimsuits. Only five of them will go on to become finalists. 
and only one will be crowned Miss Universe of 1969. In addition to her crown and her title, she'll receive a cash prize and a valuable personal appearance contract. Now, as the girls come forward and introduce themselves to you by name and by country, they will hand in their votes for Miss Amity, which is second in importance only to the universe crown. The girls themselves vote for the delegate who has been best liked, who has become most popular during pageant week. And at the end of the parade, I'll announce the winner. So now, the first event in this final night of competition for the most coveted beauty title of them all, Miss Universe. May I present the Miss Universe Parade of Nations. Miss Argentina. Mi nombre es Lidia Esther Pepe, de la provincia de Santa Cruz. Miss Aruba. Hello, my name is Nina German. I come from San Nicolas. Miss Australia. Hello, I'm Joanne Barrett from Melbourne, Australia. Miss Austria. Good evening, my name is Eva von Rueberskaya and I am from Hoka and Amur. Miss Bahamas. My name is Joan Bo and I am from Ekova. Miss Belgium. Good evening, my name is Daniel Files, I come from Brussels. Miss Bermuda. My name is Maxine Bean from Somerset. Miss Bolivia. Good evening, everybody. My name is Luz Maria Rojas and I come from Cochabamba. Miss Bonaire. My name is Julia Nicolas and my hometown is Gravenday. Miss Brazil. My name is Vera Fischer and I come from Santa Catarina. Miss Dominion of Canada. Good evening, I'm Jackie Cairn from Toronto, Ontario. Miss Zelan. My name is Mari Silvras and I come from Toronto. Miss Chile. I am Monica Dacos from Santiago de Chile. Miss Colombia. Hello, my name is Margarita Maria Reyes and I come from Cali. Miss Congo. Miss Costa Rica. Miss Curata. Good evening, I'm Yvonne Wadeka from William Stark, Curata. Miss Denmark. Good evening, my name is Jan Gabriel. I come from Copenhagen. Miss Dominican Republic. Mi nombre es Lucio García y soy de Santo Domingo. Miss Ecuador. Me llamo Rosana Vinuesa y vengo de Guayaquil. Miss England. Good evening, my name is Mara Tanjak and I'm from London. Miss Finland. I'm Harriet Erickson from Turku. Miss France. Bonsoir. I guess Cognier, Paris. Miss Germany. My hometown in Germany is known back, and I, my name is Gesine Fulze. Miss Green. My name is Irene Diamantoglu. I come from Athens. Miss Guam. Today, I'm Anita Johnson from Agania, Guam. Miss Holland. My name is Belma Hollenberg and I come from Amsterdam. Miss Honduras. Hello, my name is Vienna Paredes and I come from Saluteca. Miss Hong Kong. My name is Christine Tan from Hong Kong. Miss Iceland. Good evening. My name is Maria Balsosa and I come from Keplavik. Miss India. My name is 
is Savita Bhambani and I come from Bombay. Miss Ireland. Good evening, my name is Patricia Byrne and I come from Dublin. Miss Israel. My name is Hava Levy and I come from Pesca. Miss Italy. Good evening, my name is Diana Cocorese. I come from Rome. Miss Jamaica. My name is Tara Guru and I come from Kingston. Miss Japan. Konbara. My name is Tikuyo Oka. I come from Nagoya, Japan. Miss Korea. My name is Hisan Bin. I'm from Seoul, Korea. Miss Luxembourg. My name is Marie Antoinette Bertinelli. I am coming from S. Alsace. Miss Malaysia. My name is Rosemary Wan and I come from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Miss Malta. Good evening. My name is Natalie Quintano. I come from Zira Malta. Miss Mexico. Mexico. Miss New Zealand. Good evening. I am Carol Robinson. I come from Auckland, New Zealand. Miss Nicaragua. Good evening. My name is Soraya Herrera Chavez. I come from Managua, Nicaragua. Miss Norway. Patricia Walker, I come from Muslim. Miss Peru. Mi nombre es María Julia Mantilla y vengo de Trujillo. Miss Philippines. Good evening, my name is Gloria Diaz, and I'm from Manila. Miss Puerto Rico. My name is Ida Bedencourt, and I come from San Francisco. Miss Scotland. My name is Tina Drummond and I come from Taliban. Miss Singapore. My name is Mavis Young from Singapore. Miss Bain. My name is from Taliban. I come from Valencia. Miss Duranan. My name is Preta Rasil and I come from Paramaribo, Suriname. Miss Sweden. My name is Birgitta Lindlof and I come from Gothenburg. Miss Switzerland. My name is Satu and I come from Zurich. Miss Thailand, best ladies costume. My name is Sandra Manwong. I came from Bangkok, Thailand. Miss Tunisia. Good evening. My name is Zora Bufaden. I am from Tunisia. Miss Turkey. My name is Azra Balkan. I am from Istanbul. Miss Uruguay. Good evening. My name is Julia Moller and I come from Montevideo. Miss USA. I'm Wendy Bastin from Danville, Virginia. Miss Venezuela. My name is Maria Jose Jalisi. I come from, from Caracas. Miss Wales. My name is Shirley Jones and I come from Colwyn Bay. Miss Yugoslavia. My name is Natasha Kushir. I come from Bilgra. The Universe Parade of Beauty.
All right, the girls' votes for Miss Amity have been tabulated. Chuck Zink has given me the card, and our 61 beauty delegates have elected Miss Tunisia as Miss Amity of 1969. Tell our television audience your name. My name is Zora Bufaden. Zora Bufaden. Yes. And congratulations, Miss Bufaden. Here we have Suzanne Benhorst, Miss Hospitality, Thank has you. your lovely trophy for you. Thank you. And I should point out that this girl is Miss Amity. Here's a little Muslim girl who has been throughout this week the roommate of Miss Israel. So there's some Amity someplace. Yes. Thank you, girl. It certainly is exciting that on the eve of the first time a man steps onto the moon, we're choosing the most beautiful girl on Earth. And unless they find someone very pretty up there, our winner tonight will indeed be the most beautiful girl in the universe. 61 girls who are here tonight have come from all over the world and speak 17 different languages. But so many of the girls are multilingual that even if you're Miss Turkey, who only speaks Turkish and Yugoslavian, you can find someone to talk to. She talks to Miss Yugoslavia, who also speaks Italian, to Miss Italy, who also speaks French to Miss France, and so on. But you don't have to speak the language to be a judge of beauty. Parade of Nations, and I'll do the same. Now, I'll keep track of the judges' choices on this board behind me, and then I'll let you know how well I'm doing. <laughs> you know, a girl can be both beautiful and bright, and so can your wash with Boulder Bowl. have just handed me the card with the names of our 15 semi-finalists. Now, the girls have no idea whose names are on this card, and because of our individual system of judging, the judges themselves do not know who our 15 semi-finalists are. I should like to point out that these names are not in alphabetical order. And girls, before I call the first one, let me wish each and every one of you good luck. Here we go. These are the 15 girls who will go on throughout the show. First, Miss Australia. Our second semi-finalist is Miss Finland. Next to join them is Miss Peru. Miss Austria. The number five spot goes to Miss Norway. Next, Miss Philippines. I think there are people here who will be happy to know that number seven is Miss Israel. <laughs> Congratulations, girl.
now we're going to meet each of our first seven semi-finalists. Miss Australia is Joan Barrett. She's from Melbourne. She works as a model. Her hobbies are water skiing and designing kinky clothes. Uh, what are kinky clothes, Joan? Well, um, a bit extreme, like what I'm wearing now. Is, huh? that, is that kinky? Well, I think it's different, yes. It is it different. Is kinky. Uh-huh. How about this jacket I have on? No, is that's it? not kinky. It's smart. It's smart, yeah. but not kinky. Yeah. What if during the next commercial I cut holes in the side? Will it be kinky? <laughs> I suppose so. I'll try to get kinked <laughs> up. Thank you, Miss Australia. Thank you. Now, Miss Peru here is Maria Julia Mantilla, and she speaks no English. And she's a student in her last year of high school. Her hobby is coin collecting. No habla inglés? No. 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 Pero, uh, who said, uh, uh, aprendido unas palabras nuevas aquí. Sí. She's learned some new words in English. Díganos sus palabras nuevas Tell, in, in English. Tell us your new words in English. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Good afternoon. Este, what is your name? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. You've made a hit with our audience. Thank you, Senorita. <laughs> and Miss Norway is Patricia Walker. She's a student. She wants to be a kindergarten teacher. And uh, she's from Oslo. I have always read how beautiful Norway is. And I've never had an opportunity to visit. Uh, Patricia, what do you think is most beautiful about your country? Uh, the midnight sun. The midnight sun? Yes. Well, just what does the midnight sun do? How does it affect the country? It's, uh, it's only in the north of the country, and uh, it's, the whole sky is red, and it's just beautiful. And if the sun is out all the time? Yes, it's on the sky all the time. It doesn't go down. And it's never dark? No. What does that do about romance in Norway? <laughs> well... Well, what? <laughs> <laughs> With girls like you, there is romance in Norway, huh? Yes. Yes, I'll bet there is. Thank you, Miss Norway. <laughs> now, Miss Israel is Hava Levy from Haifa, and as I said earlier, her roommate was Miss Tunisia, and there have been many stories in the newspaper about your roommate, Miss Tunisia, a Muslim, and you being together this week. How did you get along? What did you talk about? We never talk about politica. We talk uh, between us uh, uh, what the two girls uh, can t talk <laughs> between. You just talk about girl type things. Mm -hmm. Girl, girlish things, the yes. things girls are interested in. Yes. <laughs> I should point out that it was explained to me that these two girls decided, this Muslim girl and Miss Israel decided to become roommates because they felt that if two individuals could be happy together, perhaps countries could be happy together, too. I think that's a fine thought. There you go. Now, Miss Philippines is Gloria Diaz. She's a student taking a business course, and she has two brothers and nine sisters. My, that's a big family. Yes, it is. <laughs> is it fun uh, having so many brothers and sisters? It really doesn't make a difference. I mean, it's just like a small family, I think. How can it be like a small family when there's so many of you? Well, everybody goes on their own way. They just come back during lunch, dinner, uh, and breakfast. You're just there at mealtime? Yeah. I'll tell you what, Gloria. Our interview is planned. Here you are on television with this big audience. Let's see. Can you name your nine brothers and oh, two yes. sisters, or nine sisters and two brothers? Alphabetically or according to rank? I think all mixed up. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, oh, Joselito, Fenty, Ramon, Ruby, Patsy, Coroy, Gori, George, uh, Aurora, Didi, Georgie, Benji, Rio. Very good, but when you get home, apologize to Aurora, won't you? You missed that one for a moment. Thank you, Miss Philippines. Now, Miss Austria here speaks a little English. Yes. Her name is Eva van Ruebers, Ruebers there, and she works as a model. Yes. And this is your first visit to the United States? Yes, it's the first visit, and it's wonderful for me. And well, let's I'm imagine. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Let's to imagine. Be here. Imagine, Miss Austria, that 
I should be visiting your country on my vacation. Tell me about the things you'd like to have me see. Oh, you must see uh, the whole country. You must see Salzburg, Vienna, and Graz. It's the town where I, where I live. I would like to have that opportunity. Thank you, Miss Austria. <laughs> now, this uh, is Harriet Erickson. She works as a secretary, does Miss Finland. And you know, Miss Finland, I've seen backstage here the girls having their pictures taken and you're being interviewed all the time. What sort of things do the reporters ask you? Well, just now they have asked us about the moonshots and with whom we would prefer to go to the moon. With, with whom you would prefer to go yes. to the moon? What was your answer? Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong? Yes. Why did you name Neil Armstrong? Because I, I think he's the man with whom you would come back as well, because he's the first man on the moon, supposed to be anyway, and supposed to come back as well. And he knows the way. Yes. I think that's yes. a very good idea, Miss Finland. There you go. There you have our first seven semi-finalists. <laughs> These are the first seven of the judges' choices. And I'm doing pretty well so far. I had six of the first seven semi-finalists. Now, this seems to be the year of the tall girl, and they're getting taller every year. The first Miss Universe was only five feet, five inches tall. Last year's winner, Martha Vasconcelos, is five feet, eight inches tall. And even the average height this year is five feet, six and three-quarter inches. There are only six girls here tonight who are my height, five feet, four inches. Now, in one minute, Bob Barker will announce the names of the second group of semifinalists, and all 15 of them will rush off stage to a huge dressing room and change into swimsuits. So you'd better have your list ready. And now, an important moment presented to you by new antiperspirant secret. We've met our first seven semifinalists. I have eight more names to read. The names are not in alphabetical order. Good luck, girls. Number one, Miss USA. Now, Miss Yugoslavia. And here is Miss Brazil. Sweden. Please, the girls can't hear me. Miss Sweden. Please, the girls can't hear their names called. We love your enthusiasm, but we want the girls to know when they're nominated. Miss Colombia. is Miss Chile. The last girl with an opportunity to become Miss Universe of 1969 is Miss Switzerland. Congratulations, girls. Miss USA, here is Wendy Dascom of Danville, Virginia. She's a college freshman where? At Stratford College. How did they react at Stratford College a couple of months ago when you became Miss USA, Wendy? Mm, they were so excited. I think they were mainly most excited because they said they had more money bet on me than the Super Bowl, so <laughs> <laughs> that was the reason. But they, they really got excited and they threw all the faculty members in the fountain. This is in the middle of the night. Oh, my. <laughs> so, if you should become Miss Universe, look out faculty, right? Forget it. The school will be torn down. <laughs> Thank you, Miss USA. Now, Miss Brazil is Vera Fisher, and you speak a little English, don't you? Only a little. Now, Miss Brazil, there is such a wild ovation for you. There is much applause for you. Yeah. There must be a, a many Brazilians here. How does it happen there are so many Brazilians in the audience? 
Well, the, the many Brazilians who stay here, they are from the university here in the United States. Oh, they're students at Miami University? Yeah. Does it make you happy when they applaud like this? Oh, it's wonderful. You may say thank you in Portuguese. Oh, muito obrigada a todos vocês. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Now, Miss Columbia, all right, please, let me, let me chat with Miss Columbia. Miss Columbia is Margarita Tez, and she speaks a little English. She plays guitar and sings. She has two older brothers, and uh, Margarita, let's find out about your family. You have older brothers? Is yes. It, is it good having older brothers? Oh, yes, it's wonderful to have older brothers. Why? Well, because you can go with them to all parts, and you are in good company. But a pretty girl like you doesn't have to go out with her brother. Sometimes, yes. Yeah. Do you? Well, he's a lucky brother. Thank you, Miss Columbia. <laughs> Miss Switzerland is Patrice Stoner from Zurich, and she loves animals. Patrice, oh, yeah. do you have pets? What? Do you have pets? Pets? What pets? Well, <laughs> animals. <laughs> animals at home? Yes, very much. What are they? <laughs> what I, ha I have a dog, his name is Whiskey. I have a cat, his name is Tina. I have two, I have two birds. And uh, a cat, his name is Tina. And, uh, and <laughs> she has ca two cats named Tina. No, one cat. One cat. And a turtle. His a what? A turtle with a big house on the... A big house on his... A turtle? Yes. Oh, a tarco. Yes, yes. a tarco. There you go. And his name is Go-Go. Go-Go. All right, thank you. Go-Go, <laughs> Miss Switzerland. <laughs> now, <laughs> Miss Chile speaks no English at all. Her name is Monica Larson. And she works as a landscape architect, and I understand that she plans people's gardens based on their personality. So I will try to ask her in Spanish to explain that. Como es posible arreglar un jardín con la personalidad de un hombre? Bueno, eso depende. Primero tengo que conocer el cliente que me encarga el jardín, conocer sus gustos personales. Si es una persona deportista, le haría una piscina y grandes extensiones. Si es una persona que le gusta leer, la tranquilidad, le haría un jardín japonés. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you, Miss Chip. Yes. Miss Japan speaks no English. She is Kikuyo Oshuka. She's from Nagoya. Yes, Nagoya. Nagoya. You're a model. 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 On television. Yes. At home. Uh huh. And I checked with uh, your interpreter, and I will see how this goes. I've tried to learn how to say, give me a nice smile in Japanese, in case I interviewed her. Dozo warate kudasai. <laughs> I don't know whether she's laughing at me or with me. Sayonara. <laughs> Miss Sweden is Birgitta Lindlaw. She's an assistant traffic controller at an airport. Her hobbies are sailing and cooking. What do you cook best, Brigitte? Meatball. Swedish meatball. Yes. Quickly, give us your recipes. The people of our country would like it. Oh, yes. First, you fry the onion and pepper and salt and meat and um, crossed uh, bread. <laughs> and you mix it together. And uh, then you cook it. Okay. But you didn't tell us how much of any of these things. No, how many no. meatballs do you make at a time? About 25. 25? Yes. If you want to look just like this, you start with 25 meatballs, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Sweden. Now, Miss Yugoslavia is Natasha Kosher, and you want to be a dentist. Yes, I want to be a dentist. You would be the prettiest dentist I've ever seen. In our country, people sometimes are afraid to go to the dentist. That's not true. <laughs> oh, it's true here. Isn't that true in Yugoslavia? Oh, it is. <laughs> well, what would you do to make me feel at ease? How would you soothe me if I were frightened? I think that I must first finish it with school, and then I will see. Well, after you finish school, you yes. know better how to do it. <laughs> yes, before I come in, I'd like that if you'd finish <laughs> All right, let's go out and join the others. Ladies and gentlemen, here are our 15 semi-finalists. <laughs> Thank you, girls.
Well, as you can see, I put up here on the board the uh, all the countries on all the 15 semifinalists. Now, my total was 12 of the judges' 15. <laughs> but it uh, doesn't matter now whether you pick all 15 or only five, because these girls are the ones that we'll be choosing from when it comes time to pick the five finalists. So you can throw away your old list and start picking the five winners from these names, and then one of them will end up right here. <laughs> now, next time we see the semi-finalists, they'll be in swimsuits. The judges will vote individually, and what they'll be looking for is the manner in which each girl carries herself, her poise, and of course, her figure. Now, I don't know whether the girls practice walking with books on their heads, but you'll notice they all walk with heads up and shoulders back and eyes straight ahead. And that's not easy. But this is my fourth year here, and no one has walked off the ramp yet. <laughs> now, let's just turn our attention to your hands and this word from Ivory Liquid. Here at about this time in our pageant, we try to bring you a singer who's a little different, a little more exciting than you usually see. Tonight, we have a young man with a thrilling voice and a tremendous personality. He just finished his third big album. He just finished a successful tour of the outstanding nightclubs of Canada in this country. And I'm sure you are going to enjoy the talent of young Hal Frazier. Funny how a lonely day can make a person say, what good is my life? Funny how a breaking heart can make me start to say, what good is my life? Funny how I often seem to think I'll never find a dream in my life. Till I look around and find this great big world is part of me and my life. This is my life. Today, tomorrow, love will come and find me. For that's the way that I was born to be. This is me. This is me. Sometimes when I feel afraid, sometimes when I feel afraid, I think of what a mess I've made of my life. Crying over my mistakes, forgetting all the breaks I've had in my life. A part of this great world is me and my life. Guess I'll just add up the score and count the things I'm grateful for in my life. This is my life. Today, tomorrow, love will come and find Give a damn for lost emotion. 
emotion I've such a lot of love I've got to give Let me live Let me live This is my life This is my life My life I've been asked to introduce tonight's distinguished introduce tonight's distinguished panel of judges. As the beauty delegates come from all parts of the world, well, so do the judges. The distinguished and world famous theatrical producer, currently represented on Broadway by the musical Promises Promises and three other smash hits, David Merrick. Beauty expert, columnist, and head of her own model agency, Eileen Ford. <laughs> Brazilian newspaper editor and director general of Brazilian television, Edelson Sid Varela. <laughs> From Argentina, Miss Universe of 1962, Norma Nolan Zonati. Famous artist, Dong Kingman. <laughs> Founder and head of his own international public relations organization, Gino Di Grandi. <laughs> World famous portrait photographer, Yusuf Karish. <laughs> Fashion authority and wife of ambassador from Guyana, Lady Sarah Carter. <laughs> Author, professor, and one of Japan's leading fashion authorities, Chio Tanaka. <laughs> the lovely actress and entertainer, Monique Van Voren. <laughs> Director of Belgian Tourist Bureau, Peter de Morel. And internationally famous columnist of Publishers Hall Syndicate and Dean of Pageant Judges, Earl Wilson. Thank you, Hal, and thank you, judges. so minutes, the Miss Universe title will be held by the young lady sitting next to me, and then she will once again be plain Martha Vasconcelos. Martha is from Bahia, Brazil. Well, Martha, are you planning to return to Brazil? Yes, I'm going back to Brazil on Monday, because I'm, go I'm going to get married on Saturday. <laughs> oh, that's... And I'm going to live in Bahia. That's lovely. Did you meet your fiancé during your year as uh, Miss Universe? No, I, I met him before, and he has been waiting for the whole year. <laughs> But do you think you've changed since last year? Yes, I have learned a lot. I got lots of experience. And I think I have grown, grown up. He thinks I changed for better. <laughs> well, we all wish the both of you all best of luck and much, much happiness. Thank you. And now um, we have a word from April Fresh Downy Fabric Softener.
will now present our 15 semi-finalists in their official Catalina swimsuit in the swimsuit competition. <laughs> Miss Australia. Miss Australia is Joanne Barrett. She's from Melbourne. She's 19 years old. She's 5 feet 8 and a half inches tall and weighs 130 pounds. She has honey blonde hair and hazel eyes. Miss Finland. Miss Finland is Harriet Erickson and she's from Turku. She's 22 years old. She has ash blonde hair and blue eyes. She's 5 feet 7 and 3 quarter inches tall and weighs 119 pounds. Miss Peru. Miss Peru is Maria Julia Mantilla, and she's from Trujillo. She's 19 years old. She has brown hair and brown eyes. She's 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs 125 and 3 quarter pounds. Miss Austria. Miss Austria is Eva von Ruebier Steyer. She's from Bruckmuir. She's 19 years old. She has blonde hair and blue eyes. She's 5 feet 7 and 3 quarter inches tall and weighs 123 pounds. Miss Norway. Miss Norway is Patricia Walker. She's from Oslo and is 20 years old. She has blonde hair and brown eyes, tinged with green. She's 5 feet 9 and a half inches tall and weighs 132 pounds. Miss Philippines. Miss Philippines is Gloria Diaz. She's from Parnate. She's 18 years old, she has black hair, black eyes. She's 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighs 115 pounds. Miss Israel. Miss Israel is Hava Levy. She's from Haifa, is 18 years old. She's 5 feet 7 and 3 quarter inches tall and weighs 123 and a half pounds. Brown hair, green eyes. Miss USA. Miss USA is Wendy Daskin. She's from Danville, Virginia. 19 years old, has pretty blonde hair, pretty hazel eyes, is 5 feet 9 inches tall, and weighs 124 pounds. Miss Yugoslavia. Miss Yugoslavia is Natasha Koshir, and she's from Belgrade. 21 years old, brown hair, brown eyes, is 5 feet 7 and 3 quarter inches tall and weighs 128 pounds. Miss Brazil. Miss Brazil, who has a very enthusiastic group here this evening, is Vera Fisher. She's from St. Catarina. She has blonde hair, green eyes, is 18 years old, 5 feet 7 inches tall, and weighs 128 pounds. Miss Sweden. Birgitta Lindlock, and she's from Gothenburg. She's 22 years old. She's 5 feet 8 and a half inches tall, weighs 125 and 3 quarter pounds, and has blonde hair and brown eyes. Miss Columbia. Miss Columbia is Margarita Tellez, and she's from Cali. She's 19 years old. Dark brown hair, dark brown eyes. She's five feet seven and three quarter inches tall and weighs 114 and a half pounds.
Miss Japan. Miss Japan is Kikuyo Oshuka. She's from Nagoya and is 18 years old. Black hair, brown eyes. She's five feet five inches tall and weighs 110 pounds. Larson, and she's from Santiago, 25 years old. She has brown hair, brown eyes, is 5 feet 8 inches tall, and weighs 119 pounds. Miss Switzerland. Miss Switzerland is Patrice Solner, and she's from Zurich, 24 years old. She has blonde hair and green eyes, is five feet eight and a half inches tall, and weighs 123 and a half pounds. And there you have our 15 semi-finalists in their swimsuit. And now, girls, will you please promenade for the judges? that the judges look for is the way each girl carries herself every moment she's on stage. So take that into consideration if you at home are playing the judging game along with me. Uh, this is the time to make a list of your five favorites in swimsuits. Now what makes the Miss Universe pageant so difficult to judge is that there are so many types of beauty represented here. For example, uh, in the Orient, beauty means an oval-shaped face, tiny hands and tiny feet. But according to the South American girls in their part of the world, beauty means dark eyes and long hair and not too skinny. Actually, I think you can be beautiful in any color, shape, or size. It just uh, depends on who's doing the looking. Right now, to take a look at a message about a laundry product from Procter & Gamble's Biz. to present the Miss Universe Royal Court here at the invitation of the pageant. Each of these young ladies is a former Miss Universe herself. First, Miss Universe of 1966, Margareta Arvidsson Stupakov of Sweden. And Miss Universe of 1967, Sylvia Hitchcock of the USA. And now with great pleasure, I present the present holder of the title, Miss Universe of 1968, Martha Vasconcelos of Brazil. When I first come here, I couldn't speak English fluently, but I'm going to try to say my farewell speech on your own language. I want to thank all the people in this country and all the people all around the world that had welcomed me wherever I travel. And I would like to say that if some of you one day go to Brazil, I would be very happy to welcome you and be as nice as you have been to me. I also would like to say hello to all my friends I met during my reign. This has been a uh, very wonderful year. I got a lot of experience, and I'm very grateful to people who made it possible. As I say, 
in my native language. Muito obrigado. Thank you very much and goodbye. And now a most unusual feature for this or any other beauty pageant, the Miss Universe All Girls Glee Club and Chorus. 46 beautiful voices singing in seven different languages. Since we had no idea who our 15 semi-finalists would be, each girl had to learn and rehearse these songs. Now, even though none of the girls understand the words of all of the songs they're going to sing, I know you will enjoy this international medley. So, under the direction of maestro Bernie Green, here is the Miss Universe All Girls Glee Club and Chorus. <laughs> for the girls. Not one girl understood all the words to all the songs, but they've been singing away all week. And of course, that's not all they've been doing. They've been invited to parties and dances and uh, treated as welcomed guests wherever they went. In fact, in New York, they were welcomed by a troop of Boy Scouts. <laughs> there are the Boy Scouts. The girls arrive in three groups. The European delegates in New York, the Oriental girls in Los Angeles, and the South American girls in Florida. And here they come. That's Miss Germany and Miss Finland. And um, that's, uh, oh, you can see Miss Austria there in a mini skirt. Whoop! And there's uh, Miss Wales and Miss Switzerland. Oh, and that's, uh, that's Miss Greece there in the bright yellow pantsuit. They arrived smiling, and they've managed to keep smiling all week. 
The only competition left for the 15 semi-finalists is the evening gown presentation. So keep an eye on your favorites and mark your list. Now have you ever seen... will continue immediately after... It will continue immediately after station identification. now to present our 15 semi-finalists in their formal evening gowns. After each girl has been presented, our judges will mark their ballots for the five finalists from whom Miss Universe and the four runners-up will be chosen. So if our judges are ready for this last semi-finalist competition, very well, thank you. May I present the 15 most beautiful girls in the universe. Australia. Miss Finland. Miss Peru. Miss Norway. Miss Philippines. Miss Israel. Miss USA. Miss Yugoslavia. Miss Brazil. Miss Sweden. Miss Colombia. And there you have our 15 semi-finalists in their evening gown. And now, while the judges' ballots are being collected and tallied by our accountants, our 15 semi-finalists have a special treat in store for them. A song sung just for them by guest star Hal Frazier. the world how's a guy gonna choose there are shy girls there are fun girls there are girls who can give you the blues don't you know there are hundreds and thousands of girls everywhere and wherever you go they're all smiling and beguiling At the drive-ins on hay rides, there were girls. At the picnic in the fallen booths, at the racetrack, there were girls. In the valley, on the mountain, by the seashore, there are girls. They're so hot. 
hard to resist. Every one of them ought to be kissed. There are hundreds and thousands of girls in the world, and that's why I say it's great to be a guy. Sweet as wine, girls. Valentine, girls. And I can't give them up if I try. There are hundreds and thousands of girls in the world, and I love them all. Can't help but love them all, and I love them all. Like the rest of the world, all eyes were glued to the liftoff of Apollo 11. Everybody gathered in front of two television sets. The girls, the stagehands, production staff. Miss Costa Rica cried. <laughs> Miss Honduras looked awestruck. Miss USA was fascinated, and there were some silent prayers. Oh, those lovely faces. You just see how moved they are. and then back to rehearsal. I don't suppose the liftoff was seen anywhere in the world by representatives of a greater number of countries than here at the Miss Universe pageant. Now, you go back to your paper and pencil and mark your choices for the five finalists. Oh, and in case you ever wonder what tomboys grow up to look like, stay with us. Big moment. Dee Dee Ann said, do the judges have our five finalists? They do indeed. Here are the names of the five finalists. One of these girls will be Miss Universe of 1969. First, Miss Finland. The second name on the list is Miss Israel. Number three, Miss Australia. Number four, Miss Philippines. One last place to be filled, and that goes to Miss Japan. Congratulations, girl. All right, now, please, in order to give our judges one last opportunity to evaluate you, I'm going to ask you each a question. I'll ask you each the same question. Now, this question can be interpreted into your native language if you wish so that all of you will not hear the answers of each other, I'm going to ask you, 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 and you, all four, to step over here into the soundproof booth. Miss USA of 1966, Dee Dee Anstead, will lead you into the booth. Go right over here, you four. And the manner in which you answer the question is what import is important, not the specific answer itself. Just step into the soundproof booth. Will you please step right down here, Miss Finland? Right out here. Our judges are out here. It's to the judges. I'd like to have you direct your answer. Now, you speak English, don't you? Oh, uh, yes. All right. Your question is, in the next day or so, a man will land on the moon. If a man from the moon landed in your hometown, what would you do to entertain him? 
<laughs> what a question. <laughs> well, we have got very much of, of entertaining things, I think, in my home city, because it's quite a small city, not places like here anyway. Well, I would go out and have some fun with him, I suppose. <laughs> I'm sure he'd be very happy. Miss Finn, will you step right back up on your pedestal here? And let's have Miss Israel up here, please. Right up here. Now, Miss Israel, I want you to speak to the judges. This is your question. In the next day or so, a man will land on the moon. If a man from the moon landed in your hometown, what would you do to entertain him? I don't know what that was saying. You don't know what entertain means? What would you do to make this man from the moon have fun? Make him enjoy himself, have fun? <laughs> In your hometown. I would eat. It's difficult for me to say in English. It's difficult to say in English? Then say it in Yiddish. Go right ahead. <laughs> now go ahead. She speaks Yiddish. I will do the, the best what I can to do to him, the best reception for him. And <laughs> I can. That's very good. I'm sure it'd be a nice reception. Thank you. All right, let's have Miss Australia, please. Just step right up here, facing our judges, if you will. Miss Australia, it's right up here. The judges are out here. The question is this. In the next day or so, a man will land on the moon. If a man from the moon landed in your hometown, what would you do to entertain him? <laughs> Don't worry about the photographers. Tell the judges what you'd do to entertain this moon, man from the moon. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Anything that isn't fun in your hometown. Uh, I don't know, do a song and dance, so. Very good. I'm sure you'd enjoy a song and dance. Here you go, right back up here. Now, let's have Miss Philippines, please. Miss Philippines, step right up here. Right up here. And you speak English well, I know that. Miss Philippines, in the next day or so, a man will land on the moon. If a man from the moon landed in your hometown, what would you do to entertain him? Oh, uh... Just the same things I do, I think, if he's been in the moon for so long. I think when he comes over, he wants a change, I guess. <laughs> Very good. Very good, Mrs. Philippines. Here you go. Now, Miss Japan. I know that Miss Japan does not speak English. However, we do have interpreters. Now, the question is, in the next day or so, a man will land on the moon. If a man from the moon landed in your hometown, what would you do to entertain him? Will you please tell her that question? Ask her that question in Japanese. Is that the same question? <laughs> <laughs> Briefly, what did she say? Miss Japan would like her, like the man in the moon, to see her city. Very good. Miss Japan, will you please step up here? Thank you, girls. And now, judges, the decision is up to you. I suppose no matter how beautiful you are, that moment when you're on your own on stage with 60 million people watching really must be frightening. You know, I once asked a, a former winner what she thought of it, just exactly that moment. And she said that she forced herself to think of what she liked to do best, and that was skiing, because she said that if she had not done that, she'd have started crying even before the winner was announced. <laughs> and by the way, I actually picked... Um, three of the four. I'm rather proud of that, of the five, rather. Now, we've got to go get to work and pick all the very finest ones here now. 
We have uh, look out for the winner to be the girl who has stood out the most during the whole pageant and who was most poised and confident during the questioning period. Now we'll be right back after this word from the Green Phantom about scope mouthwash. And now, while our judges are making that all-important decision, I should like to present Miss Universe of 1968, Martha Vasconcelos, in her traditional farewell walk. <laughs> Sylvia Hitchcock will read the official Miss Universe creed. have the judge's final decision. Thank you, Miss USA 68. Here's the decision we've all been waiting for. Everything is built to this moment. I have the four runners up and Miss Universe. The fourth runner up for the title of Miss Universe is the delegate from Japan. The third runner up is the delegate from Israel. The second runner-up is the delegate from Australia. Now, will you please step right down here, and you step right down here beside me. One of you girls will be Miss Universe of 1969, the other will be the first runner-up. Now, the position of first runner-up is very important because if Miss Universe cannot serve her obligation, the first runner-up takes over the title. The first runner-up is Miss Finland, Miss Philippines, is Miss Universe of 1969. Congratulations, Miss Philippines. Martha, would you step in? There we are. Dee Dee, if you please, the cake. Put your arm right back here. Hold it up. Here's the sash that you'll be wearing for the next year. Miss Universe 1969 and Miss Philippines. Now Miss Universe, would you please step out on the ramp in your traditional walk? She's 18 years old, she has black hair and black eyes. Five feet five inches tall and weighs 115 pounds. She's a student at St. Scholastica College and she's taking a business course. Her hobbies are piano, dramatic, and modeling. She's acted in school plays. She has two brothers and nine sisters and they should all be very proud of her. One more year with the crowning of Gloria Diaz 
at Miss Universe 1969. I'm sure you join with me in wishing her the best of luck in the exciting year ahead of her. This is June Lockhart saying good night for Bob Barker and myself. The Miss Universe beauty pageant has been brought to you from Miami Beach by Scope. Once in the morning does it. And by Quest, the toothpaste that fights cavities. And by Safeguard Deodorant Soap, the soap your family really needs. Chuck Zink saying goodnight.